I guess I'll go work out how the battery goes and I don't remember how to do it. Hello. Are you starting? I've started. Okay, so I've been keeping track of my flights this year and for my quads, so just any quad tiny whoops through to big camera drones through to these. And this will be my 2000th flight. So I thought instead of flying a JS1 or something, we're going old school. This is my first ever custom frame design, uh, first ever dedicated racing drone. So it has the little transponder thing. Uh, it has the Jillian electronics because that's how this used to be. Yeah, so you could plug it in for a transponder into it because that was the thing at the time. There was no VTX. Oh, timing. that's what no VTX taught me, was it? Yeah. So Australian it's... Nationals? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm playing this thing in a while, so I guess let's see if it works. I got my old Tyrannus here. Flying a Tyrannus. Yeah, with the old ba old lanyard with the old goggles. Oh, wow. So. This is uh, going to be pretty fun. It's going to be like a little period correct thing, except for the battery. The battery is much newer. Back to 2016, but what battery are you running? Uh, it's a Tatu 1550 V3. So these batteries definitely did not exist. No, we did not have this kind of powers back then. Okay. I think we are up to the R-Line 1.0s at the end of 2016. Does, does that DVR record on the uh, goggles? Uh, I got my gog my normal goggles set up for recording as a backup. Okay. Do you know what channel you're going to be on? Nope. I've got to find out. So I probably need to find a way to lock that in. Well, I remember this. Uh, have you got braking on these ESCs? Yes, yes braking do. already existed at this point. Okay, so there was braking. That's not going to hold. And he's running. It? It'll hold. The Tyrannus. Yeah. So, first things first, to get the channel right, so we can have some vision. Welcome to Open Running 40 degrees camera tilt. So 40? Yeah, it is, isn't it? What's the field of view of the uh, camera? Um, that's a 2.8mm lens, so very so it's little. really, really narrow. The one that um, Sean Tyler was upset with you because he said it was too narrow, wasn't it? Too narrow, yes. Oh, wow, I got vision. This okay. is being with Paul on it because you were the last one I think, to fly this, as in it was your quad last, this one. So that should be recording. Is it recording? It's recording. Okay, so we've got that. So this is actually recording. And then this is what I'll be that's what he's going to fly with. I don't even know how to use this thing. 2016 tech, eh? Yeah. Oh god, do you remember how to change bands? <laughs> B E F. Got it. Okay. 16 by 9? Yep. Oh god, I cannot see out of these things. This is uh That's what I used to fly with. Holy wow. I don't even fit on my face properly. These are the goggles that you wore in, um, was it the Sebring race? Yeah, I don't even know how I used to use these now, going back to these. Wow, they don't even fit on my face properly anymore. Maybe I've changed shape. I'm mm. going to get a shot of the quad flying. Okay, am I clear? You are clear. Try not to chop me up if you can help it. Okay, here we go. Well it arm. Oh, the latency. Wow. Okay. Actually, it doesn't feel too bad. Compared to what I, I did spend a lot of time dialing this thing in. Um, my rates, I think, are really high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That went down quick. Wow. I can't believe I used to race with this. So this was at one time in 20, end of 2015, early 2016, state of the art tech. I have no voltage monitoring because that, I don't know why I don't have voltage monitoring. I can't remember, what did I guess it I used to. I think it was a new thing. Okay. Ten, so, nine, yeah. eight, oh wow, the vision is seven, so low. Six, like it's uh, nine, so narrow, four, it's like we are flying through a three, tube. Two, one. So give it a straight line fast. punch. Go for it. Don't crash if you can help it. What was that? Is that the quad that made a noise? I think the trap might have come undone, is it? Oh yeah, okay, let's bring her in. Let's see if we can land it. It still flies pretty well, to be honest. It's just laggy. I don't remember how to disarm this thing. You're gonna fly it at east side? 
that's what it was back in 2016. So I think Beta Flight 2.2. You're gonna fly it at East Side? Next race? Yeah. Honestly, I was tempted to bring it up for the first practice. Oh, I lost the antenna. Which antenna? I lost the signal antenna. That's oh, a that Okay, so I did actually break the quad just then. Okay. Um, I guess I might fix that because I'd like it to look still really pretty. It's got a Volo um, PDB board. Oh, it's got a PDB board. It's got a PDB. It's running individual ESCs. Um, it's got, look, it's got pin headers. Back when we used to do that. Pin why, why would you? Why oh. would you ever use soldering? You wouldn't you solder, You want would connectors. You? you don't want a solder. What is it's this? It's repair things, isn't it? Yeah, and these are F40 V2s, not F42s, F40 version 2s. Uh, 2205, 2300 KV. So, yeah, HS1177. Fox here? Yes. Um, I think this is back when it was a different, under a different name. What was it? Uh, security Camera 2000? Yes. So... There we go. And then big old immersion RX, uh, VTX, and that was the thing. 200 milliwatts, was it? Or 25, yeah. hey, let's fly with the 25 ones, didn't we? Yeah, and then this is the um, S-Bus. So there, there you go. All in all, it's a little bit of a chunky boy. Now, the whole frame weighs 88 grams. I remember that, because it was like Back to the Future. And I remember everyone was telling me that this is way too weak. There's no way you could ever race with something like this. It's not durable enough. And now look where we are. Compared to today's frames, this is a brick. Yeah. Look how thin the top plate is. That used to be the standard though. Top plate's really just a little thing. It's just barely holding it together. Um, there you go, the 2000 flight. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Yeah.